So let's use some annotation for our properties. So for example, ID, we want to set as a key. Now by default, the entity framework would know that this is a key because it's named ID, but we can be explicit about it and simply use an attribute called key to make sure that it's obvious that this indeed is the key for this table. And you can see this is underlined because we need to import the namespace components model dot data annotations. Now for the name, we want this to be required. We cannot enter a band without a name. So I'll annotate it as required. And additionally, I'm going to set the maximum length for the band that is allowed to be entered in our database. This is not necessary. This is just for practice to see uh, other type of annotations. So I'm going to set max length to be, let's say, 100 characters. Now we can make any of these required if we wanted to. Let's say we do not need this to be required. So we leave found it as it is. But let's say main genre is required. So I'll enode it as required. And also I'm going to limit the maximum length to let's say 50 characters for each genre. And we don't have to do anything with the collection of albums because that's not really a field that's going to be in the database. This is just to make sure that we establish one to many relationship between the band and albums. Because each album in our case can belong to one band, but one band can have, of course, many albums. So now let's have a look at album. And just like with the band, we want to make this a key. So that's gonna be the key annotation. And let's bring the namespace which is the data annotations namespace. And the title of the album is required. And we can, of course, use maximum length to be, let's say, 200 characters. And the description of the album, let's say, is not required, but we will limit the maximum length to, let's say, 400 characters. Now, the band and band ID are part of the relationship between band and albums, so I'm going to set the foreign key here. So that's our annotation for foreign key. And we need to bring in the namespace for this, which is the schema. So that's the data annotations dot schema. And the foreign key that we want here is the band ID that we have here. So I'm going to set this to be the band ID that is our foreign key. So these three lines establish the relationship between album and band and it sets the foreign key to be the band ID. So these are the two entities that we need. And next, let's start working with the data context. 